Hi friends and welcome back to my channel and today's video. So the Swedish word of the day is tired, which is a Swedish trött. Trött. I'm not referring to myself, but Sig is laying right next to me, like he's laying on the floor on a pillow. Uh, and he looks so tired, but he also stares at me, so I think he wants me to spend time with him. Which is weird, because we just came inside. I recorded this look, and then I took him outside, because he needed to go out and do the things that he needs to do outside. So yeah, we just spend a lot of time outside, so I don't know what his deal is. But I did film this look using the Adjust My Luck palette, and if that video is up, I'll go ahead and link it right up there, and in my description box, you can go ahead and check it out. But today we're going to do a tag video. And I have been so excited about this tag because I love, I like tags, I'll say that. I don't love tags, it kind of depends on what kind of tag it is, but this tag is about eyeshadow palettes, so that made me so freaking excited. So this tag is created by Little Blushing Birdie, but I saw this video at Katie Marie's channel. You know Katie that I did a collab with, I'll go ahead and link our collab right here, but then also Katie's channel in my description box, and of course I'm gonna link little blushing birdie as well <laughs> and their videos doing this tag but the thing is that hey yet yeah, okay maybe he wasn't tired this tag is called let me see here what this tag is called the makeup romances tag but katie marie actually changed some of the answers like she only answered with eyeshadow palettes while little blushing birdie answered with foundations eyeshadow palettes concealers and stuff like that just in general but i thought that i would do it the same as katie marie did but only feature eyeshadow palettes because on this channel, we love to talk about eyeshadow palettes. So that is what we are doing today. Don't forget to check out the other two channels that I mentioned. I will, of course, have them linked in my description box, but also their videos. So let's start off with the first question. And the first question is the one you are in a committed relationship with. I should maybe, sorry, maybe do a little bit of a disclaimer that I might take two palettes in some answers because it's really hard. I want to take two palettes in the first question. So this is two colorful palettes, but it's like one colorful and then one neutral-ish palette for me. So the first palette I have is the Blush Tribe Paulina palette. This is of course my palette that I created with Blush Tribe. And this is what it looks like in case you haven't seen it. I started using this way before I even showed this to you, but I used all of the shadows as singles just to test them out. I had tested out other shades as well, but then these were in my like top, top nine. So we have been together for a very long time, so I feel very confident saying that we are in a committed relationship. I love to take the shade Friends in conjunction with other palettes, especially when working with greens, because it's my favorite kind of blending out shade, but I also love to have it on my lid. I love wearing Thingling, this one, on my lid on like everyday days. This is colorful, but it's still not um, really, really out there. You can use this with browns and just this on the lid or even in your inner corner. So I really, really love this. This was limited edition, so it's not available. I have gotten a lot of people asking if this is going to come back and if we can bring it back, but it's this, it's the weird thing with limited edition. Like we, we, we complain about things that come back in stock. We have decided not to bring it back in stock because as I said, like it wouldn't be fair to the people who said, when we said, oh, it's gonna be limited edition and maybe they didn't have a lot of money but they saved up to purchase it. Like it wouldn't be, really be fair. So no, it's not gonna come back. The other palette that I wanted to talk about is the Morphe Bling Boss palette. This is a palette that they created with Jaclyn Hill. Now, I wouldn't say that this is my all time favorite palette, but I love the color story of it. So I've been using this so much on like an every day. And especially I love to mix these, as I said, to take this and thingling because the shimmers in this are kind of muted except for this shimmer. This shimmer is a little bit stiffer and then this red, it, like I don't really use the reddish tones and then not this black, but I use this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. 
and sometimes that one but I mean you can see that I have major pan in this that one I love it the shimmers in this palette are gorgeous the mattes they're fine they're fine they're workable but they aren't the best so the next question is the one you are still in a honeymoon phase with. Oh my god, I just spit at him. Sorry, CK. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the same thing here. I have two palettes here and the one... The first one I'm gonna mention is a newer palette, but then the other palette I'm gonna mention is a one, a one, a two, a one, two, three. <laughs> one that I've had for a very long time, like more than one and a half year I think it is now. So the first palette is the Tribe palette by Juvia's. This is a nightmare I was about to say but it's not. This is such a beautiful palette. I love this. I could do without this one and this one but I have to say I didn't think that I would end up liking or using these two but I've actually been enjoying them especially combining them with the other shades in the palette which maybe you're supposed to do but if you want something a little bit more mossy you can but you can also really amp it up by mixing the, these two together and then mixing this with some of the other ones right here I'm so sorry that I'm blinding you this is really real blinding but it's just such a beautiful palette. The next palette is the Subculture palette. You know, I did my throwback video and I wanted to start off with this one. I think you guys voted for this one as well. I think so. And I did use it. This is what it looks like. I am the one that loves this palette. I would say that before when this came out, it was really an unpopular opinion to love it. But now I feel like it's kind of 50-50. I feel like half the people hate it and then half the people love it. There is not a lot of people that's in between. But this one, especially crushing on Axis and Electric, I kind of do the same sort of look every time using this. So when I did my throwback video, I did the same look that I always do with this palette because I, it, it's just... A fantastic look like it's the, one of my favorite looks ever ever created it's a look that is easy and that I still go back to to this day because I love it so I had to do another look with this because I wanted to go out of my own comfort zone so yeah I do love 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 this palette the one shade that I don't really love in this palette is adorn but it's just because it's not my my cup of tea it's not really my typical shade but it's just a gorgeous palette in my personal opinion so the next question is the one you friend zoned um and I think I heard Katie Marie explain this in a way that a palette that you might like not maybe not a palette you want to declutter but it's still never going to be a favorite of yours and that is another Juvia's Place palette and that is the festival palette. You guys know this, I'm not much for the warmer tones or for reds, I don't use a lot of reds. But when I thought about this and I thought about which palette I should put in this, uh, like an answer for the third question, I thought about this and I, I was just like, why does this palette not inspire me? So I feel like I wanna use it a lot, like I would love to do a look using these three mattes and maybe something cool on the lid, maybe even pull it, pull in another palette and do something on the lid. It's just like, we, we are never going to hit it off. We're never going to be in love with each other. We are always just gonna be friends. I still want it in my life, but not as a lover, only as a friend, so yeah. So the fourth question is the one that got away. Oh, I did a video my video YouTube made me not buy it and I talked about the Too Faced gingerbread spice palette extra spice palette extra gingerbread spice palette whatever I talked about that palette but the thing is that I had edited that video and I had it on hold for almost two weeks so when I uploaded that video I wanted the palette I was like damn why did I miss out on that and so, so many of you were in the comments like, you know what, that is actually a really good palette. And I'm like, please don't say that. I really want it now. I changed my mind. So now it's gonna come in a like video, you know, where makeup I regret not purchasing. I'm still working on it because I don't have enough products to mention 
because I have purchased all of the stuff that I've really been wanting, but it's just, mmm, mmm, yeah. <sighs> Too Faced Gingerbread Spice, bring it back, please. So I really wanted to mention two palettes for the fifth question as well, but I'm gonna try to stick to one. I had to sit here and debate a little bit, but okay, so the fifth question is the one that you're crushing on at the moment. And I have to say, it's the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I didn't want to spend a lot of money going into it, thinking that I wouldn't use it, but I know myself and I was like, oh, I'm going to use this so much. I'm going to get so much use out of it, yada, yada, yada. But the thing is that inside, I was like, you know that you're not going to do that, bitch. Like, you, I was just so sure that I was not going to use it, but I did. So I have been using this so much. I've been creating so many different looks with it that it's insane. I still haven't used this shade and I think I haven't used this shade. No, this shade, I'm sorry. I'm holding it upside down. I don't know, like I think that this palette is so gorgeous but mainly I love these shades like right here, like these three shimmers. This blue, this one, and then this one, and then the browns right here. I feel like this is a perfect palette to my everyday life where maybe I want something a little bit more fun that doesn't take a lot of time. This blue takes no time to blend in to your, your eyes or maybe like, I, I don't know if you can see, but I have a little dent in this brown shade. I'm so weak to really rich brown shades. If I'm gonna go for a brown, I can't, or a brown look, I cannot just take this in my crease and then pop something on. I need something a little bit richer. So this was a really good choice for uh, to put into this palette, and then also this one, which is more of more of that like green tint. I also really love this orangey gold. This is gorgeous to to just do something really, really simple. And I have really been enjoying doing something super simple as of lately, because colors usually take a little bit more time to blend into your skin. They're usually a little bit harder to work with versus browns that kind of melt into the skin so much easier. So it takes less time for me to do a brown look. So the sixth question, the one that broke your heart. Take a guess in the comments. Just pause this video and take a guess. An eyeshadow palette I love, but that broke my heart. The Misha Lu palette. This is the only one where I feel like the quality is poor, but I cannot bring myself to declutter this because it's too beautiful. I wouldn't say that all of the shades are poor, but a lot of them, like the shades that I really want is this one and this one to work, but they just don't. Um, you guys know, you saw that I talked a little bit to the company and they said that they had reformulated the palette. Uh, so I did a video on that that I can link up here, but they hadn't. It was the same batch code, it was the same ingredients. They still performed pretty much the same. So I actually sent this palette out to one of you guys, the one that I got in PR. This is my palette that I purchased. Mine. This one was a little bit more beat up. The other one wasn't as disgusting, like I had only used it once. So I felt like it's better for me to give that away. Also, I got it in PR, so like, why not just share it? I don't need two of these palettes, but I cannot bring myself to declutter this palette. It's too beautiful, and I used to be obsessed with this one. If I ever do end up decluttering this palette, I would probably depot it. Like, the shades are magnetic. You can kind of really easily just take them out of the um, carton. So I would take White Witch, Magic. Those are the two shades that I would never like ever declutter. I would take some of the other ones as well, of course, but those two are the ones that I know for sure that I would never declutter. So number seven is the one you grew apart from, and I have to take my Modern Renaissance palette. I know that this is such a cult favorite, and it was one of my cult favorites as well. Uh, this I bought this during the time when I didn't know what trend mood was. Uh, I never saw any new makeup releases on, unless they came to Sweden and to stores or if I saw some YouTuber use it. But I did mainly watch Swedish YouTubers. So when this 
launched. I saw this in a Facebook group and it was the day that this launched in Sweden and I was like, oh my God, that palette is beautiful. I need to have it. So I went online to purchase it instantly and I had a hard time putting this palette down. I even remember when I hit pan on tempera, I was like, okay, I'm gonna use something else now because I don't wanna hit pan. I was, at that time, I was sort of like the person that didn't want my makeup to look used or to seem used, even like foundations and stuff. I would rather, when a foundation was almost empty, I would rather use another foundation because I didn't want it to be empty and go out of my collection. How freaking stupid. Sorry if you are like that. But for me, that was just stupid. I wanna use the products that I love. This is still a palette that I think is beautiful and I'm never going to declutter it because I've never done this much progress in a palette ever. And I did use it. I don't think I've used it this year, but I did use it a couple of times last year. I think it's a cute palette and yeah, it's a cute palette, but I just kind of, yeah, I just moved on. I really love these reds and um, pinks, but as I said, I moved on to new palettes, as we all do. The next question, so question number eight, is the one you'd had a fling with, but never actually did. And when I saw, I just, uh, reading this question, I just didn't know what to say, like, uh, I don't know. But then I had to go back to watch what Katie Marie said, and I was like, well, okay, what did she say? I'm that kind of person. <laughs> and she said that um, she talked about a palette that she wanted but wouldn't purchase because of she didn't like the brand. So you guys know that I wanted to use the Huda Beauty palette, but if I had one palette that I could just use one or two times, maybe even three times, it would be the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar palette. Oh my God. Do you know that I boycotted his brand after seeing that video? Like when he did his reveal video, I was 100% going to purchase it, but then he came and was in another drama or whatever. And I was just like, you know what? I'm done now. I can't deal with this. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna hold on. And he has just exploded ever since and been even meaner <laughs> and more. I'm sorry if you're a Jeffree Star fan, but he, I just don't like the way he treats people. So I would take the blood sugar palette because I love those tones in that palette. And I have such a connection to it because I was was actually going to purchase that palette. And I even showed it to my boyfriend and I was like, Niklas, you have to see this video. Look at this palette, it's gorgeous. Like I'm gonna give it to Jeffree. Like when it comes to his, uh, creativeness. I just think that he he has done a lot of cool makeup and I feel like he's very very creative and I totally understand why people are purchasing from him because he has very unique products but for me I would just like to have a little fling with it use it a couple of times and then just pass it along. <sighs> So after this question, we only have one question left, but question number nine is the product or the palette that you have a love-hate relationship with. And I have to say the Natasha Denona Cranberry Palette. This is gorgeous. If you just take a look at it, it's gorgeous, but I hate the mattes. That's not really mattes. Every time, I just have to say this, every time I talk about this palette, I get, a lot of comments saying that um, the formula is a little bit tricky to work with, you should do this instead, la 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 la. But the thing is that I actually got my money back for this palette just because of the fact that they, they, something was wrong with this palette. Like, I don't know what it was. I sent some pictures, they said, here's your money back. So we're just gonna leave it at that. I don't need any comments on how to use them because they are just worthless. I mean, even like dragging my fingers into these, they are just horrible. Look at these. And you guys know I love my shadows pigmented, but using these shimmers, look at them. That is porn. Do you see that? That is just beautiful porn. She can do shimmers and glitters like no one else. Like she rocks, she rocks. <laughs> I used this palette, um, it was one day off 
off YouTube and I used something else as my mats but then I had to go in with this one and then I was no 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 I have to go in with this one and then it, I just the entire look ended up being a mess and I had to run out the door because I was like I cannot decide which of these shimmers I want to use because they are gorgeous they are absolutely gorgeous I mean look at them I still need to do a look featuring this one sometime. I still haven't really used this on my eyes yet. But yeah, I truly have a love-hate relationship with this. Hate the mattes, they are trash. They are the worst shit I've ever, ever come across. No joke, I think that these are the worst matte shadows I've ever worked with. Which is insane, because this is not an affordable palette. But the shimmers, the shimmers, they're amazing. Last question, the one you gave a second chance. Nabla Poison Garden, baby. <laughs> I actually did a video with, it was a makeup tutorial and it was like featuring makeup that I'm giving a second chance or whatever it's called. I'm, I'm gonna link it right up here, here. So if you haven't seen the palette, this is what it looks like. It does not look like a poisonous garden, but still I ended up purchasing it and I did a couple of looks with it. I have a bunch of videos with this. And then I was like, you know what? I didn't like it. I'm gonna declutter it. I decluttered it, but then I was like, you know what? I still love, especially these two mattes. The shimmers, there's nothing wrong with the shimmers. They're so beautiful, but I just loved these two. And I was like, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to give it up. I hate getting rid of makeup that I've had for just such a s small period of time. And especially like there's so much makeup where first impression and other stuff like that can just, it can be something wrong with your eyes or um, maybe you've used a new day cream or maybe you were extra dry that day or whatever. Like there's so much makeup that we just kind of write off from first impression. I do this myself, so I'm not complaining, but it's just like, I felt like I wanted to give this a new chance, which I did. I still don't love it, but I can use it, but I haven't used it since that video. But as I said, I am trying to cut back on... What the fuck? Look at this. I have false lashes in there. <laughs> oh, that's the... Oh my God, they're stuck. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my god! Oh, it's just like eBay lashes, but still, they're really disgusting. I need to throw them out. <laughs> yeah, disgusting. Yeah, but as I said, I'm trying to cut back and I'm trying to use a little bit more from my collection this time. So hopefully I'll get back to this and um, maybe I'll fall in love with it. Who knows? But that was all from me today. I'll link some people or I, I will tag some people in my description box and I'm so sorry if I didn't tag you. If I didn't tag you then consider yourself tagged. So that was all from me. As I said, don't forget to like the video if you liked it, dislike the video if you didn't like it, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys very very soon. Bye guys!